Yo, what up, it cats? MyScape20 here, and I'm here to bring you a gameplay and commentary of Black Ops 2. And today, guys, I'll be bringing you a little bit something I have not yet brought to this channel, but I've been waiting on for a little bit. I, you know, held off a little bit on this DLC in order to, you know, just kind of, you know, hear people's opinions on it. Just kind of see, it, you know, is it worth buying? And today, guys, like I said, I will, I didn't even say it yet, I will be talking to you about the DLC in this map, my opinions on it, and how it kind of relates to other DLC in other games. As well as, is it, you know, worth the bang for your bucks? The tits for your dick, you know what I'm saying? Any way you roll, doesn't matter. Now, this DLC right here is called Revolutions. The only one that's coming out for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And it is about, what is, $15 PSN. And it is um, 1,600 Microsoft points. And, which is the exact same amount for people like, oh, Microsoft gets it cheaper, da, da, da. No, Xbox gets it earlier. That's the difference. They get it earlier, they don't get it cheaper, which is kind of stupid. I think maybe PSN can maybe compensate for that and, you know, drop the price a little bit. Maybe to like to 1250 I play on Xbox, so it really doesn't matter anymore. But, you know, just for those PS3 people out there. But, in my opinion, this map, you get four maps. Um, you get Grind, which I'm playing on. You get uh, Mirage. You get Downhill. And you get um, uh, Hydro. Which, Hydro is good, it's annoying as shit though. Like, has anyone ever played, if, if the people that play it know what I'm talking about, you hear like that Asian guy constantly like, dong, 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 dong. I'm like, God, shut up. Like, I understand you're warning us the water's coming, and they did the same on launch in the first Black Ops, but he does it for like a fucking minute. I'm like, dude, give me a 10 second heads up. That's all I need. Not even 10 seconds. Like, maybe like a 5 second being like, Tong Tong Da Wada. You know, something like that. Like, that's all I need. That's all I fucking need. I don't need 20 minutes of your Korean ass talking to me. Alright. And I'm not dissing Koreans out there. I'm just saying. This guy is annoying as shit. Um, but, you know, th that's a good map. Um, I like this map, Grind. I don't get to play that much, but I really do like it. Uh... Let's see, what else is that? Mirage, that's fun. Mirage is a fun map. Um, Domination, you actually want to hold A and C. You don't want to hold, like, a B flag and another one. You actually want to hold A and C. It's easier to, you know, um, control. It, they spawn on the outsides of maps, so it's actually better. And the final one, which is, what did I say? Downhill, I love that map. Um, you need dead silence, though, because it's so loud. The footsteps are so loud because it's in snow. But that's, that's one thing I did notice about that, but... This map, uh, this DLC also comes with a gun called the Peacekeeper. Now, for those of you guys not aware, it is an SMG, but it plays like an assault rifle. So, it's good for long to mid, well, mid to long range gunfights. So, maps like, you know, Newtown or maps like, you know, what else is there? Maps like Newtown Hijacked, you know, it doesn't do as well. It doesn't favor as much. So... I would recommend not maybe using it on those maps and maybe using it on, you know, the DLC maps. The DLC maps work perfectly with the, that gun. I mean, it, for all, I mean, for all you guys know, it is probably made for the Peacekeeper. So, you never know. I really, you know, end up, do, end up doing very, very well on the new maps with, like, Assault Rifle. So, if you trying to level up Assault Rifle struggling, play the new DLC. I'm telling you, you will get, it's, it's a lot better. Alright, so, make sure you guys do that. Now... Other games, you know, DLC is about, uh, what's it called? You know, about 10 bucks, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit less than this one, but, uh, oh well. Is it, is it for your bang for your buck? Let me know. 11 and 2, just a quick gameplay, uh, for you guys. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up and everything, and yeah. Previous video was a level 50 golden chest key unlocked, which is basically where I saved all my keys up in Borderlands 2. Um, to level 50 and then open the chest. There's about five in that one and a five coming in a later video. And featured is a quick scoping SD. I thought it related to this one a little bit just because it's SD. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, you know, thumbs up, favorite, whatever. And follow me on Twitter for, like you see right there, open lobbies and more. So thanks for watching and uh, peace.